All right, what's up, YouTube? It's a little green one here. We're gonna do a little Photoshop tutorial for you. I'm, uh, it's my first attempt, so uh, bear with me. And uh, what do you what do you see on your screen here is the uh, end time movie theme watch. You know, your time that ticks down your your life and everything like that. And I haven't seen a, a tutorial about how to do it. And you know, I, I worked on this for about a week or so. And, you know, I'm not very good at Photoshop, so it took me a little while, but. I'm going to show everybody how to, how I did it. You start off with your base photo like this, you know, and um, I myself, I edited my background out of it, you know, so all I was left with was this. And then, uh, you know, I just zoom in here and take your sponge tool, desaturate everything, draw the color out of it. So now you're left a little bit like that. And then uh, the next thing you do uh, is just uh, work on the time, you know, just make a new layer, uh, click on the text. I use a nice uh, aerial, you know, draw yourself a box. Uh, the point, the, uh, the color is important here. Uh, you want to pick a nice green color before you start typing, something like that. And then uh, there's about 13 numbers in it, so... Um, you want to start off with an, with some zeros, zero or however much time you want to have left on your clock. Remember that it's counting down like a timer. So we got that. We got three, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Add some colons in between. Check the green check when you're done. I'm going to uh, control T to transform it, flip it around like it uh, should be, uh, shift and click on the corner and drag to uh, change the size of it while maintaining the scale, uh, drag it and it'll move it right in the perfect place. You want to get the scale, you know, so that it looks right on your arm, not too big, not too small. If you haven't seen the movie and you, haven't, you don't know what it's supposed to look like, uh, look up the um, look up the the poster or something like that. Look up an image online. So uh, click the green check when you're done to finish. Uh, you want to go over here, right click, and go to rasterize type. Then you do your transform again, and that way you can do your warp. You want to zoom in here real nice. Uh, come over here, make it look like it's on your arm, you know, just t click and drag and adjust, you know, bend it, bend it around, make it look like it's actually on your arm. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, I'm just going to play, play around with it, but, you know, take your time, play around with this, make it look realistic, you know. Check your green check when you're done. Uh, if you've got a sleeve like I do, you know, take your eraser tool and erase away what you can't see, do it like that. Alright, um, in the movie there are only one dot in between each number, so you just kind of click your eraser on it real quick. If you want to, you can click and drag the dot to the center. You know, use your, use your tool to select it like this, and just click and move it right in the center of those, uh, right in the center of those numbers like that. I'm gonna waste too much time doing all that, but um, once you get done with that, you're going to uh, you're gonna add some effects to this to this uh, uh, text layer here. Double click on it, put on a uh, outer glow and an inner glow. I'm gonna play with the uh, play with the settings a little bit. Change it to a nice green because the numbers are green, so it's gonna be projecting out a green. On the outer glow, you know, adjust the uh, spread. You know, make it nice and nice and glowy. You know, and just play with the settings until you get something that you like. Go to your inner glow, do the same thing, change it to a nice green. You can play with the opacity of the uh, of this text layer. You can play with it a little bit to get it to 
fade a little bit, you know. Um, yeah, just can pick a nice something like that. <clears throat> All right. So moving on, we got a we got our numbers going on there, you know. Um, oh, something like that. Uh, what you want to do? Also, I did um, make a new layer. <clears throat> And, uh, I have a layer here. It's called light. I'm going to change the uh, the blending to overlay, and then uh, pick yourself a nice brush, just a nice feathery brush. You know, not not nothing too hard or anything like that. Uh, pick the same green that you had before, and just kind of color in some hi some highlights. Make it look like it's a flashlight shining on you. You see my face here, off. On. So you just make it look like it's an actual light coming off your arm, you know. And if if you have a dark scene, if you're not if you're not very uh, if the scene you're looking at is very bright, you know, then uh, you wouldn't have too much reflection in there. But, you know, just color in around your arms, stuff like that. And turn the opacity up on the brush so you actually color. There we go. Now that's that's a little too much, but that's a little overkill. You play with the opacity of the brush, and then uh, you get a nice effect. You know, do some around your arms. You know, make it look like it's really just shining up around everything. You know, if you're if you have a dark scene, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to design your scene here or anything. But and then uh, to make my look my image look a little more dramatic dramatic here, I, I made a new layer. I set it on a hard light on the blending. I picked a black with the same brush. You know, just kind of black in some coloring, you know, like that. Just make it look a little more dynamic. Add some shadows here and there. You know, I'm not gonna play with it here. But um, you know, I'm gonna take a turn off the my, my body so you can see a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but the shadow. You just add some shadow in there, make it look dynamic. And the very last thing, I just added a background. You know, just use the uh, gradient tool with the black and white, whatever. And just add, add it blend through there. So uh, thanks for thanks for watching YouTube. And uh, hope everybody checks out the movie. It's a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. And um, thanks for watching.